All right, great. Um, so the first project for uh, observational drawing, you need to practice your ellipses. So there's two separate um, methods you're gonna practice. One is just major axis, minor axis, no perspective. One is major axis, minor axis, with perspective, one point perspective. So we're gonna start off with this one first. Um, in order to do this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rip your paper in half. And I showed you how to do this before, but as a reminder, what you're gonna do is you're gonna crimp your corner, line these two corners up and you crimp your corner. And you repeat that on the other side, line two corners up, crimp your corner. This ruler with the beveled edge or the um, cork back is actually the best for something like this. And if you have a really bright light, uh, light you can't see the crimps. And so I have to mark them. So I can't see them. <laughs> Okay, that's going to help me out. So I marked them. I'll line this up. And as a reminder, you pull the opposite corner, put the pressure of your fingers where it's going to start to rip, and pull towards your chin. And you're going to walk this down. And you get a nice, even rip. So we're going to use... Voila. You're gonna use both sides, or um, not both sides, but both papers here. So the first one, you're you're gonna do the perspective one second. You're gonna do this one first. So this is what this assignment will create. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find the halfway point this way, find the halfway point this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the structure um, where everything's gonna go on one side and then I'll make a part two to this video and talk about how you're gonna put your ellipses in. So what I'm gonna do here is, find the center this way, 18 inches long. My center is nine. And I can't stress enough, um, to be as accurate as you possibly can. You want a straight line. So basically what you're gonna do is five ellipses here, five ellipses here, that equates 10 ellipses. I don't really want you to take your time. Actually, I'm not gonna measure from the rip side. I'm, I'm gonna measure from the machine cut side, 12. So I'm gonna get a six, line this up. Six. Connect my two points. And I know a lot of this seems very structured, very, um, like you would say, this doesn't feel like drawing, this feels like work. <laughs> um, you really know to, need to know structure and form and ellipses and perspective and all those things before you can get into the more loose approach to drawing. So the way I design my classes, it's very structured in the beginning. And then afterwards, um, after you cite measure and learn perspective and all that stuff, then it loosens up a bit. Um, and then with that knowledge, you can really be fast, be loose, but you know what form and volume is. You have a pretty good idea. So this is a true drawing education. All right. Next thing you're going to do, if you look at this guy here, the width of these um, ellipses are six inches. So what I like to do is I, I just put, um, I'll put the six inches right on in the middle and I'll go to three and I'll go to nine and I'll do that again down here. Put the six right on the middle line. It's just faster. I'll go to three and I'll go to nine. The reason I don't put the three here and mark the edge because I'm not sure if the edge starts here or starts in there and I don't want to 
take a guess right now. Next thing I'm going to do is just connect those two points. So it should look like this. Why does that look weird? Seriously? This must have um, shifted or something. Oh, I know what I did. Well, I just made a major error. I'm going to start over real quickly. Just give me a second. How did I do it? I think I know what I did. What I did was I used, um, I went with that one instead of the big one. Rookie mistake. It's fine, not a big deal. Remember I'm starting over, so bear with me. I was gonna erase, I just thought it was gonna be faster just doing this. Trying to work fast so I don't have to make a video. Okay, now put the six on the middle, the big line, <laughs> and hit three and nine. Six on the middle of the big line and hit three and nine. Connect three and nine. Or actually, it would be nine and nine. And connect nine and nine. I think I might have to switch to an HB pencil so you can see what I'm doing. I have an H pencil right now. Um, I'm just gonna take that mark out of there. HB, HB, HB. Where is my pencil sharpener? Oh, I'm not really doing so great up here, am I? Forget it. I'm going to continue with my H. All right, so the next thing, if you look here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this sideways. Not really I'm going to read it that way. Um, the first space from the edge of the paper to the beginning of the ellipse is one inch. This, The width of this ellipse, ellipse is two inches. There's a half inch divider between the ellipse. The next ellipse is a half inch smaller, which makes it one and a half inches. Half inch divider, one inch. Half inch divider, half an inch. Half inch divider, quarter inch. And what this creates is an ellipse that you're looking, if I was holding a coin, you would see underneath this coin. This line here represents your eye level. You would just see the bridges of the coin in the middle would see the top row or the bottom, and this would be slowly lowering past your eye level. That's the whole idea behind this thing. So what we're gonna do here is, and again, I don't like starting with the beginning of the paper. I'm, I'm just gonna put the two right on the edge, and I'm just gonna go in one inch. And I'm gonna start using my graph I think you guys should have one of one of these I have a bigger one and you're going to put in those lines and what I'm doing is I'm um, using those little graph lines as you can see here I'm lining one of these graph lines up with the lines that I created and that way I'm making a perpendicular line it's just a fast way of measuring um, I still and doing the the two inch to half inch. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is along this line and along this line, I'm gonna measure. So I have my one inch border, if you will, that's the one inch there. Now I'm gonna measure two inches, one, two. And then I'm gonna put in a half of an inch because that's the divider. I'm gonna put an X there because I don't want to. And then an inch and a, and a half. So here's a half and that's a full inch. So I just go to six. And then a half inch, X. And now this one's an inch, so that's a half, half. So there's a full inch there, and then a half inch, and I put an X and a half inch. Now I'm gonna to go to a half inch, which is right here, and then a half inch again, which is here, to exit. 
Now I'm gonna do a quarter inch. You're like, what the heck is going on here? All right, that's what it looks like for now. I'm gonna do that same exact scenario on the other side. Two inches, one, two, mark it. Half inch right here, I'm gonna put an X. Inch and a half, and another half inch, I'm gonna put an X. Remember, the X is the dividing space between the ellipses. The next ellipse is gonna be inch and a half, and then a half inch spacer. Put an X. The reason I'm putting an X, so I don't get these confused later on. Um, next is a half inch ellipse, and then, oh wait, I already did that. Did I screw this? Two, inch and a half, half inch. Oh, yes I did. Too much going on, I'm telling you. All right, line this back up. Okay, so um, this was an inch and a half, half inch, so this should be just an inch and then a half inch. So I'm gonna put a half inch here and then a half inch, um, and then a half inch again, and then a quarter inch. Done. Okay, now I connect my line. So I already drew this line in. A little trick of the trade, I put a pencil here. I run my um, that ruler right up to it, and I'm making sure that these little lines are perpendicular or running parallel with the uh, perpendicular lines. I go that way. And it just helps me make sure that I'm putting them straight lines. It's important that these are straight. Don't rush through them. This is your foundation. If your foundation's off, every, everything's off. Man, my kid's going crazy. I'm sure the audio is picking up the screaming downstairs. <laughs> so eventually you'll do the other side. I'm just going to show you this half, and then you can do that other half on your own. All right, so if I turn it this way, you can start to see the structure forming. Um, next thing, because I have these little X uh, marks, I might even just do this so I just remember, I'm not gonna put anything in those areas. Now, if you look here, if this is gonna be our ellipse right here, right? This is our ellipse. This is the major axis line, which is the widest part, and this is the minor axis line. They both go through the center. So you put them in first, and use it as a guide to draw your ellipse. So the first thing you have to do is you have to find the center. Um, center of two inches is one inch. Center of an inch and a half is three quarters of an inch. Center of a half or one inch is a half an inch. The center of a half an inch is a quarter inch. And the center of a quarter inch is an eighth of an inch. After I mark those center spots, what I'm gonna do is the same trick. Instead of doing the two for one meal, I'm just gonna do my best to line it up. I'm basically taking not a thick red line, but a th thin red line of this graph ruler and I'm lining it up with that line that goes through here and I'm making sure that it's perfectly overlapping it. So when I put a, uh, a line in, it is perpendicular. If it's not, if it's crooked, on a diagonal of any sort, um, it's not gonna work. I'm not sure my head's not in this, okay. That one was not great. I might go back. If if you can if you make a line like this and it's closer here than it is here, you might want to redo it. And I think I'm gonna redo that one. I 
That one's decent. It's the um, it's this one I'm not totally satisfied with, so I'm gonna redo it. Better. Okay. All right. So then the next thing you do is you put your ellipses in. Not that difficult. But I will say, when you get down here, you get down to the small guys, those are hard. Now, this is my first round right here, right? Uh, kind of. Actually, this is my first round, meaning that I use this with my hard, harder pencil. I had an HB I was using this with. I have an H here now. It's probably what you should be using. Um, and, I'm, and I'm putting in the ellipse. This is my second round. I used a, a B and I went in and I clarified the edge and I perfected the line. And I would even go in there again, see if it's a little wavy here and a, and a little hairy there. I'd even go back in again and perfect it. You want these ellipses to look perfect because you're training your eyes to see what a perfect ellipse looks like. And the approach here is to arc your arm like so. Turn the paper around, do the same thing. Arc, baby arcs I call them, the baby arc. And then after that, you connect them. Now an ellipse is always curving, never flat lines, never rides this line, and it never points, ever. So you're trying to connect them, and in the process of connecting them, you might like go out of the edge a little bit. You might come back in from where you made your arc is, arch, arches, arches. <laughs> Making myself laugh. This one I cut in a little too close. I call it taking a shortcut. So I'm gonna go the long way around a little bit more. And then there's your ellipse. That's the easiest one to be honest with you. Uh, the ones down there are a little bit more tricky, but that's the first round. And then you're gonna put another round in and clean it up. Um, I'll, see, I'll, I'll make another video just to kind of practice this one more time. Other than that, get to it. 